always do it on my own so I gotta get through it and the only thing I know is to love what I'm doing never give up never slow till I finally prove Our target is to illustrate a circle and the terms related to it. Radius, diameter, chord, center, arc, central angle, and inscribed angle. A circle is defined as a set of all points that are of the same distance from a fixed point called the center of the circle. We have circle P. The center of the circle is P, and it is equidistant from a fixed point called the center of the circle. A radius is a segment from the center to any point of the circle. This is circle P. The center of the circle is point P. We have a point in the circle, and that is point A. If we connect point P and point A using a segment, we have a radius. PA is a radius because it connects the center and a point and the circle. A chord is a segment whose endpoints lie on the circle. We have segment AB. The endpoints of segment AB are point A and point B. And the two points A and B lie on the circle. We have segment AC. The endpoints of segment AC are points A and point C. And the two points A and C lie on the circle. So, if the two points of the segment lie on the circle, we can consider that particular segment as a chord. We have diameter. Diameter is a chord that passes through the center of the circle. So we have segment AC. What are the endpoints of segment AC? We have points A and point C. So the given segment passes through the center of the circle. If the chord passes through the center, that particular segment can be considered as a diameter. Therefore, segment AC is a diameter. So we have interior of the circle. It is the set of points in the plane of the circle whose distance from the center is less than the radius. We have point P as the center of the circle. We have point S in the interior of the circle. We connect the two points, we have segment PS. Segment PS is less than the radius. If the segment is less than the radius, then segment PS is in the interior of the given circle. So we have exterior of the circle. Exterior of the circle is the set of points in the plane of the circle whose distance from the center is greater than the radius. We have segment PQ. Point P is the center of the, the circle and point Q is outside the circle. So if we connect segment PQ, we can say that segment PQ is in the exterior of the given circle. Tangent line. Tangent line is a line that intersects the circle in one point. We have the given circle and we have a line. This line is line M. The line M intersects the circle in exactly one point T. And this point T is the point of tangency. Second line is a line that intersects the circle in two points. We have the given line, line WX. Line WX 
intersect the circle in points W and point X. So, line WX is a second line. Central angle is an angle whose vertex is the center of the circle. The center of the circle is point P. We have angle APC with sides ray PA and ray PC. The vertex of the angle, angle APC is the center of the circle. If the vertex is the center of the circle, that angle is considered as a central angle. An arc is the connected part or portion of a circle. So we have this arc. This is arc AB. This is a connected part or portion of a circle. A semicircle is an arc which is half the circle. This arc is half the circle. So this arc, arc KM, is a semicircle. A minor arc is an arc which is less than half the circle. This is half the circle. The arc is less than half the circle. Therefore, arc AB is a minor arc. We have a major arc. A major arc is an arc which is more than a semicircle. This is more than a semicircle. In naming a major arc, we use three letters. So we can name this major arc as major arc SQT. The arc is more than a semicircle. We need to identify the figure which is related to the circle. B is the center of the circle. We have segment BF. So what is segment BF? From point B to point F, that is connecting two points one is the center of the circle, and another point is in the circle. So what is segment VF? Segment VF is a radius. Then we have segment GE. We have segment GE. Segment GE connects two points of the circle, and it passes through the center of the circle. Therefore, segment GE is a diameter. Then we have segment GA. Segment GA connecting two points of a circle, and that is a word. Next, we have line GF. Line GF. That line intersect the circle in two points, point G, and point F. What is that line? That is a second line. We have line CH. Line CH. The line intersect the circle in exactly one point. And what is that line? We need to determine if the segment is in the interior or in the exterior of a circle. How do we know whether it is in the interior? If the segment is less than the radius, it is in the interior. If the segment is more than the radius, it is in the exterior. We have segment AD. Segment AD from the center of the circle to a point inside a circle. We have interior of a circle. We have segment AG. Segment AG is less than the radius. Therefore, it is in the interior of the circle. We have segment AC. We have segment AC. It is more than the radius. Therefore, it is in the exterior of a circle. We have segment AF. It is more than the radius. Again, 
we need to determine if the arc is a minor arc, a semicircle, or a major arc. R in the first circle. What arc is being illustrated in the first circle? We have a minor arc. In the second circle, what arc is being represented in the given circle? It is a minor arc because it is less than a semicircle. How about in the next circle? That is a semicircle. And in the last circle, that is to identify the figure which is related to the circle. A is the center of the circle. I am giving you time to answer the following numbers. We have 1 to 10. You must get at least 5 in order to pass. You may now check your answers. Be sure to check it, and it must be more than 5 points. Thank you for watching.